for anyone who wants to start their own business, I would say it's important to have a little bit of money, whether it's your allowance or if you get money for your birthday, you get money for the holidays, have some money saved so you can be the first to invest in your own business and in yourself before trying to get everyone else to invest in your, in, in your idea when it, you haven't done anything yet. So you first invest in yourself so you can show people that you're serious about it. I think that's the first step. But I also think it's important to do research if you want to do something in the beauty space or if you want to do something in fashion. Find some videos on the internet, find some articles where people have done something similar to what you want to do and find out what they did. So you just really have to do a lot of research to understand how people were able to do and get from here to here and see if that's a journey that you think that you might want to take. Or if you have a better idea about how you want to get from A to Z, think about that too. Um, I think it just it's really important to do as much research as possible and trial and error because the Harlem Candle Company is not my first business. <laughs> I've tried a lot of different things. I even just thought I was going to design swimwear. And I enrolled at the Fashion Institute of Technology here in New York City. I took a, a, a class. It was a, a class that I would take after work hours. And the first, within the first 15 minutes, I realized that my business idea wasn't going to work. But I still finished the class and I learned some things. But you, it's important to just stay open-minded. You might start something. You might not. You might not finish it. It's okay. You're young. You have time. And don't put too much pressure on yourself. You need to have fun with it. With whatever you do, you have to enjoy it. And once you stop enjoying it, then it might be time to move on to something else.